everyone and welcome to another Sunday Merktide video. I'm playing the deck that came second in Prague, which is a huge achievement. Um, that tournament was the tournament of the main zoo, the tournament of Lila and Cyan of Draco uh, that everybody tried to put into play and this deck definitely doesn't seem too good against that, but look at that. This is the list that came second. And, uh, you know, despite Team Merc, they didn't have a fantastic weekend, win percentage-wise, finished second and ninth. So, you know, that's definitely meaning that this deck can fight in the current meta game. And this is the list that did that. So, uh, what are we seeing here? We're seeing no uh, Pick Your Poison main deck. They're all in the sideboard. We see one green source only in Breeding Pool. We see a main deck Fable and a second Fable there. This is something that you used to see in the heavy Scamma meta game of like last September. And uh, I mean, now Scam is not heavy at all, but uh, there's definitely less combo. So with the Band of Violent Outburst, the... Um, with the Band of Violent Outburst, the combo decks are a little bit less popular. And there is a little bit more mid-range decks. Mono Black Coffers is... Uh, a good deck right now, so that's why you see Fable. Um, Leyline Scion is tough to beat, main deck, you don't even have Borrower. Although Dress Down does a lot. Uh, it kills Cabo and ATB, because Cabo becomes a 0-0. Zero, zero. You also can do Dress Down, and then only hit the Scion, even through a Leyline. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. And you can subtlety the, the Scion, or you just hope they don't do it. Again, as I've been saying and throughout this week, I've played that deck and I've never done it in paper. So uh, it is definitely not a certainty that your opponent does that. If they do that, they hire all against you. That's fine. You'll, uh, you'll, uh, <laughs> you'll live, you know what I mean? Uh, in December, you have Flame of Anwar, which is a card I haven't seen before. Uh, you have Wizard. No, sorry. No, you don't have any wizard. I thought this was a wizard. No, you don't have any wizard. So it's just here is a modal card that can destroy an artifact all dual 5 damage. Again, the sign of Draco comes to mind. Uh, but I guess it's versatile. I only have one moon and one magus because Amulet is a extremely good deck. It is the best deck in modern. This player lost 2-0 to zero to Merktide in the final. It's definitely not a good matchup. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I mean, it doesn't really have bad matchup anymore. Um, maybe mill, but yeah, who cares about <laughs> <I'm> mill. <laughs> uh, 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 okay, let's go. Team of Merc, tight submit, 100 play points, vamos. Buongiorno, Miss Flood, buongiorno, Curie, Daniel, my usuals. Yeah, a little bit late. It's fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna do one video today, and then I wanna read the spoilers, because a lot of people ask me about spoilers. But actually, the spoilers are so many words that I need to just only read them and yeah, just need to take a lot of time. So I'll do that later on stream and not, uh, it's just, it's kind of impossible, I feel like, to. <laughs> like, if you read spoilers, you kind of have to study, basically, because every card has, like, so much text that unless you, like, read and whatever, which I guess is content nowadays, but, you know, so... I want to try and read and comprehend. Comprehension text of a different language is always um, not the easier. Not the easier, maybe even in your own language. Anyway, here I go. Uh, probably turn to uh, channel or consider on the play. It's very strong. Let's hope not to play against the Prismatic Ending deck. Ooh, that's Hammer Time. Okay. Hmm. I see. Which is just, I guess it's the same. It could be preordained. Creature? Hmm. Alright, so Spellsnare is very strong. And the thing is that if I graveyard this, I'm not going to get the Lyrum anyway, so I might as well draw this, right? Pass. If I had attacked, my opponent wouldn't have blocked. Yeah, Stoneforge. That's good. They got Kaldra. Wow. 
Very strange to get Caligra against a deck full of removal spell, but you know, we don't have it in our hand. Let's hope to find it now. Okay, so I find Delirium first. And then I'd love to find a removal spell here, which we play so many of, so it's not that we got all lucky. Uh, anyway, um, mm -mm -mm. do I want Merc or do I just want Double Bolt? I think Double Bolt is better. Yeah, let's just get Double Bolt. I'm gonna put Bolt in hand and cast Heat. Hand, bottom. And this is the beauty of playing Merc Tide and what makes you, and what makes me happy is just... That if you dig for something, you find it with this deck, because you dig so much. Like, we've dug 18 cards. So, like, you have your plan, and you actually... Like, you're not uh, playing Scamzu, you know? <laughs> okay, so I see a Merc on top. Now, that's not bad. Like, you know, nobody can say that Merc is bad over there. I think I'm gonna graveyard it, though. I think I have like two of this already. I don't think I need a... Uh... Merc. I don't know what I need. Maybe I should have needed a Merc. But it's game one, so it's very unlikely that my opponent can um, disrupt my graveyard. It's not that it goes Sanctifying back now. Yeah, the last MKM, yes, the car market video came out yesterday. Yeah, the... Um, it was actually uh, one of the videos I recorded uh, uh, two weeks ago when I went to Berlin. We recorded uh, a lot of videos, and one of them was uh, the... Um, the budget... The budget deck. Trigger? Uh, man. 15 hours, 60,000 views. I wish one day, I wish Monday, one day the Mangos Workshop also does that. Definitely makes me happy to see that. Also, the amount of comments is crazy. All right. That was easy. That was easy. We had a fantastic draw this game. Okay, so against uh, Amr, you take out counter spells, you take out spell pierces, you don't take out Ragavan, don't touch that. Take a fable. Take a consider. And I think I can take out one channeler. I can take out one iteration over channeler, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, this hand has the uh, most important card in the matchup. It's a little bit land light. I feel like keeping it though. Turns Calling and Brotherhood are very good. I'm on the draw. Yeah, I'm keeping. Whatever. Oh, your opponent uh, skipped their first one turn, and I top deck and a shock land. It's very lucky of me. Yeah, never punished indeed. Actually, I didn't get so like. Not only I didn't get punished, they actually missed the first turn. You know. That's fine. A little bit, a little bit of a warm up game. By the way, yesterday I made a video with uh, Hammer Time, and you'll never believe my score, or maybe you can't believe my score. But yeah, I went on to, I went one and four, which I haven't done in a while, but I achieved that with Hammer Time. I would say I did get a little bit unlucky with my pairings. Like I got paired into. Two mill decks and an amulet titan. Uh, yeah, actually, this is all great. Oh. 
Honestly, like this matchup used to be bad, but then they made uh, Stern Scolding and also Spellsnare. I remember when I added Spellsnare to my Merktide deck, I really felt the difference. This was like last year at this point, over last year. I'm gonna graveyard this because I want to play Merktide here. It really makes a big difference adding um, just one mana card to trade with two drops. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic and Paladin. Shadow Spear. Can this be good? I don't care. La 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 la. Good old. It's French is Flim of Anor. I mean, it is like an Archmage Charm, if you think about it. And Archmage Charm used to be a playable card in this archetype. Hello, Maverick. Merktide Day, yeah. Yes, indeed, this is the Merktide Day. Yeah, sorry, Ronin. Buongiorno, Pimienta. How's it going? I'll, I'll go uh, Resolve. And then I'll go uh, Bolt. Alright, GG. I, I remember like Merkta versus Hammer used to be used to be a bad matchup. But then when I started realizing the plan, the cyber plan of taking out counter spell and spell pierces and leaving all the creatures actually was, was another big deal. And again, the printing of uh Stern Scolding and Spells Nair was a big deal. I mean obviously my opponent missed the first turn or whatever. But the the, the, the matchup again Used to be bad, and then I don't think it was anymore. You're practicing mono black. Nice. Yeah, mono black coffers. Really good deck. I don't know if Channel Fireball posted my power rankings yet, but I do. I did put very high mono black. I mean, it will come up. Usually at the end of the month comes out. Let me see. Not yet, but it will be out soon. Mono Black definitely is fine in the meta game. Again, the, the, the big problem were definitely leading end. How unwinnable matchup. Okay. Facing a turn one Ragavan. Probably the Demir match. Okay. I mean, it could be also Skamzu. Sorry, not Skamzu. A Ska, um, a Zoo Tide. Or Blue Zoo. I like Zoo Tide. If you have Merc, I should definitely call you a Zoo Tide. If you don't have Merc, ooh, nice. Nice little draw here. <laughs> we actually saw it with the bubble. 
Okay, I don't have um press down. Yeah, this this is the mirror match. I don't think they play Orkish Bowmaster, so I'm gonna wait on the second bubble. Press down in the mirror match doesn't have many applications, but it can uh, make Merc Tide a 3 3 flyer on any response. Not great, but that is one of the ways you can use it. I'm moving here. Their hand is a little bit awkward, so if they have iteration, they're probably going to cast in now. Yeah, this is the list that came second in Prague. Huge achievement. Keeping the Merktide hopes up. I don't know the player. I don't think they they, they are on Twitter either. Graveyard, I kind of want to draw lands here. Lands or removal spell. Plus that gives me Delirium, which is huge. I don't want to play Ragavan, because they're just going to kill it, and then they have more things in the graveyard for Murktide. Or just Delirium, so I'm just going to not do anything here. I'm going to go land, preordain, pass. Okay, so... I want to top land, and I would have bought on Bubble. But it's the same, and I just get some information. And again, there's no Orkish Bowmaster to punish me. Personal opinion on the 60 archetype. You mean Merc died? I mean, Merc died, it's a decent deck. It had like a 44 win percentage. Because it somehow, like despite it being one of the strong, one of, like a hard deck to play, a lot of people think it's easy or just, you know, it's, a, it's like draw. Like infinite people pick it up because, and then they realize how hard it is and lose every match. Okay, so they have an heat on top. I think I think that's an easy graveyard. Yeah, exactly. It's bad to do it end step though, because now you yeah, this is definitely a mistake, but whatever. Yeah, later I'm gonna try to read the new cards of the outlaw and then we'll talk about it. At the moment I haven't had the chance to read very much. Every card has an, a keyword that I've never seen before. Yeah, yeah, that they 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 wasted. Yeah, that's okay. Tron is hard. Tron is hard. I know it's not easy to understand the Tron is hard, but Tron is hard. That's also honestly why Tron does so bad overall win percentage, because people think it's not hard. Anyway, they exile spell pierce, so they bricked. Their hand is Merc Tide that I know of. They don't even attack. Okay, they have Delirium now. Keep him back for Ragavan. I wish they knew I had Ragavan in hand. Because I remember this nickname, it was in my blacklist of people that ghosted me in the past. I'm gonna try and be more on the lookout this game. Anyway, I don't have 7-7 seven, seven Merc, unfortunately. Okay, now I have 7-7 seven, seven Merc. What about their Merc? It's just a 6-6 six, six Merc. Okay, and... Bottom exile. I'll play Merc seven seven and pass. Go. I mean, if they have um, an only heat, it's fine. 
they've been one earlier. The thing is that eventually this has to happen, you know. It's trying hard to play, difficulty, link, blah, blah, blah. Nah, I try. I mean, it's... I don't know if you ever played Tron, but you have the easy games. But most of the games your opponent interacts with your combo, your you have to, and then so with your Tron. I mean, okay. How big is it? Eight eight. Okay. I don't have Brazen Bar. Only have Otawara. Duration. I'm at 16. Plays available to me here. Plays available to me here are. I can make a 4-4 four, four Merc. Oh, sorry, a 5-5 five, five Merc died. Maybe it's not bad. I don't have anything left once I do that. Should have maybe not keep that this canal. This was a mistake. This was the biggest mistake I've done so far. You're gonna go for sure both on the channeler, and then I can play five five Merc, or I can just Shockland play Ragavan. I think Shockland play Ragavan is my play, but yeah, this canal was, was a huge punt, I think. I got a 5 here, now I need to top deck either from my deck or your deck. What is a top deck? Otawara? Iteration Preordain, I love that. Bolt? Bolt is not bad, it lets me uh, block and bolt. Or if I find an only hit from your deck, it lets me double burn. They have one card in hand, if it's a removal spell, they'll play it now, so if they don't play it... I'm assuming they don't have it, could be a counter spell. Let's see what I flip. Murktide, okay. I flipped Murktide, how many cards I have? Eight. Okay. I should need 10. Sei piotto 14. It's not ideal, man. This purple of canal is such a pain here. Such a pain. Allora. So I have in total six mana plus eight. That's 14. So I can double cast Merc. Yeah, I was thinking about Jed just puzzle. Bold Piers. I was thinking about that. I'll go Bold Piers. And then I make 277 Merc. Right? Yeah. And then once I do that. Or hear me out. I can go Merc. I can go Merc, Merc, tap out, have two five fives, I chum block with one, and then I have uh, another turn with Bolt. The problem is that seven seven or five five is not too much of a difference. Because I guess I guess it is not. It doesn't die to a Noli Heat. So I double block, and if they're Noli Heat, it's a trade. Okay, let's do that. So I actually have to hold control now. I don't remember if I have to click control first. I think so. Uh, not paying. Not paying. Then I go first Merc. Delving away everything that isn't. What if he has counter spell? He does have counter spell. It's 
not over, but yeah. It's bad for sure. To chum block here and then I have a hit of Ragavan. I think it would be better to go maybe cast Ragavan and bolt you. You would have been a 10. Don't think it matters much. Now my only out is like Otawara. It's like now iteration into Otawara, or if you have borrower. And the GG. So biggest mistake I've made was that Power Bluff Canal, which would have got me an extra card at some point. I'm clear if it mattered, but definitely it does. A lot of like playing Merc that is like a castle of choices that, you know, go down. But anyway, it was definitely a good game. You figured you had counterspell since Ragavan lived? Well, you also have a land. <laughs> you don't always have a spell in your hand. Curve is a little bit too high, maybe. Well, another play could have been just casting Merc. I, yeah. I don't... Casting Merc pass and then try to block... I mean, they would have... They would have gone... They would have gone anyway, counterspell on the first Merc, and then I think I couldn't cast the second Merc anyway, so... Maybe I could have. It would have been the same, right? It would have been the same. Anyway, it was, a, it was a close game. I enjoyed it. Land Ragavan, please. Yes, perfect. I'm cycling these bubbles as I see them. I don't care about uh, holding it. There's no more Ledger Shredder and the bubble your fetch land play is not great if my plan is to cast uh, Licensed Earth anyway in this turn. Still gonna draw, but tempt. That's okay. I'll do this now. I was saying... Oh, I just realized that Hearse is now not... Like, back in the days, a curve like this used to be so hard for the mirror match to deal with. But now you have Pick Your Poison, which can easily kill the Hearse. Pick Your Poison just has such a tremendous impact in the format. Speaking of which, here's my Pick Your Poison. Okay, um, let me go... Preordained before playing a land. Hey, okay. uh, yeah, I was thinking about the papa. Draw both. Let me lower the volume a little bit. It was low. It was high. High. Who's that? Leo Listian. Leo Lizan, thank you for the 11th month. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Why not Ragavan and Hold of Stern? Turn two? Nah, just, just resolve this. It's good. Also, it's playing Merc died. The question of why do this over that often is just... I mean, both are fine. and This deck is like an infinite tree of decisions. <laughs>
it's rare that um, it's rare that uh, a fillet is a hundred percent better than another one. Okay, so on top of my deck, I have uh, another pick your poison. I think I actually am gonna shuffle that away and just get a topped breeding pool instead of a survey land. And just pass. I don't want to play into counter spell or pick your poison or whatever. These are the games of uh, Questing Druid. I wish I had Questing Druid. The problem is that not too many games are the ones of Questing Druid, so... That's why you don't see Questing Druid much anymore. But it never gets to survey land. Strange. Maybe they drew it. They just want to hold up all the lands. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna counter this. A clear returns calling is good pulse. Um, what's that? Argument dashed. They baited me. Love to draw a counter spell. Okay, hear me out. What if I go pick your poison and then Merc Tide 6-6? Six, six. Yeah, I'll do that. So if I send an artifact. And then Merc Tide. I hope they don't have um I hope they don't have the subtlety. They can't only heat it. They can't pick your poison, of course. But I don't think they have green mana. Oh nice. No hearse attack. I know they have Dash Dragavan. That's why no hearse attack. I think I'm okay with uh, receiving a Ragavan hit. There's not too many answers for my Merc Tide. And I think I've drawn... I haven't drawn all the Picker Poison, but almost all of them. Could have floated mana. I couldn't cast Merc Tide main phase there. I'm gonna let the Ragavan attack here. I mean, they can go double bolt. They flip, find a bolt from my deck and have a bolt in end. But I think I have to take this risk. They found Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay, that's not bad. So if it's an enchantment. New play counter spell. I think I'm okay with that. Just have six attack pass. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, I can exile my own graveyard to pump the Merc. Would it have been relevant there? Maybe. Okay, they discard double Ragavan. They attack me down to four. Let's see what I flip. Again, I hope it's not a pick your poison or double bolt. Stuff like that. 
Let's see what it is. Nothing. Okay, good. I pass. I'm a little bit scared of tapping this purse. I'm gonna let it untap. I have a hearse for double bolt. Double bolt goes to my face. <laughs> okay, attack. Not much if they have Tawara. Yeah, I know, definitely. So Tawara, subtlety. Okay, so this resolves and then I go on only heat. Let's hope they don't have a force of negation. All right, cool. We go to game three. So my opponent doesn't have uh, pick your poison in their deck and doesn't have a survey land. Strange list indeed. They kept all the monkeys on the draw too. What, what do you mean? Bad Trump player. Hello. 20th month. Buona Pasqua. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this weekend we celebrate Easter uh, in Italy. It's a very important festivities. Yeah. It usually lasts. Uh, Three days, Saturdays, I guess Saturday, no, Sunday, yeah, just two days, just Sunday and uh, the day after. Okay, so I can go bubble myself and then decide whether I want to uh, graveyard it, shuffle it, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, considering they went Sparble of Canal Go, I don't think they have uh, any Ragavan or DRC, so I'm just gonna graveyard the Unholy Heat. How good are the survey land in Merc died? Good, I mean, every, any deck with fetch land should play at least a survey land. Um, I'm of that opinion. You think they have Ragavan? No, if you have Ragavan, you play it. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think I'm happy to play Ragavan. <laughs> Just trading. Okay, I think I like what I see here. Double Fable. Double Fable is alright. I'll go Breeding Pool Fable next turn. They can't have Spell Pierce, but it's fine. If they do, it's okay. That's why I have two. And I want to go Breeding Pool because I've definitely saw games where you just ignore the first Breeding Pool, thinking like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll find another one. And you just never draw another Fetch Land. And the game just goes terribly from there on. Nice, it's not a spell pierce. They played a one mana blue instant, but it is not. Wow, and they graveyard the spell pierce with consider. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we have Fable in play now. Mate, buongiorno. Buongiorno, buongiorno to my editor. 
who gets to enjoy some Friday Merktide. Do you play FNM today, Matem? When I go second iteration, gets a bubble. Do they have a land? I don't think they have a land. Okay, they have a land. Fiery Islet. That's another land that you don't see much anyway anymore. Okay, so I have to discard cards here. What do I discard? I definitely don't want to discard Pick Your Poison. Two Knight FNM for sure. What format? I'll discard Preordain. That's that's a granted one. What if I only discard Preordain? Maybe also Noli Heat. Yeah, let's discard Noli Heat. I'll go for a second Fable. No, the phone can see the phone spell appears. Okay, sure. And then I go for a Ragavan. Maybe prior day should have been hold. I don't know. Why is a random draw better than prior day? Uh, I wanted to find something this turn, like let's say something impactful this turn. But yeah, I definitely have regrets now about that prior day loss. That's a 3-3. Do you go for a Merktide here? That seems like a Merktide to me. Okay. Now we need to... Pop deck something. I guess I could have had that preordained to select my draws. Yeah, that's definitely something I should have thought a little bit more. A little bit more. It says that preordained, you're just spending mana to cantrip. Whereas Fable just cantrip for free. But I guess I should have saw a little bit later in the game, not just this, not just last turn. Ugh. Yeah. Now it's difficult for free, for for sure. Make a sacrifice creature with flying. Also, I didn't expect the spell pierce because I didn't have it a few turns ago. And there was also the second spell pierce because they binned one. So I was like, I have another fable to turn after. To get rid of the cards that I don't like. But yeah. Also, binning the Anoli Heat maybe was wrong. I could have gone Heat, pick your poison this turn. Anyway, let's see if I draw something good here. This is not bad. Uh, do I want to play land first? Yeah. This is going to play around the uh, spell peers, a third one if they have it. Okay. Flame of Honor is so weird in this deck. Would I want Flame of Honor in hand or Bogle? Because I definitely want Counter Spell in hand. Yeah, no, I can't. I have to get Counter Spell in hand, I think. Not, not that I have to, but I want to. Uh, should attack? Nah, I'll keep back for Ragavan, I guess. But this is like classic Merc Mirror match. You probably messed up somewhere if you lost. I think I have to counter this because a flyer, I mean, yeah, easy counter. Flyer annoys uh, for the second or third pick your poison. Let's draw is definitely pick your poison unless they play another flyer. I'm also one live, so unlikely for me to win this game. It's okay, good game, good game for sure. Very fun and interactive. Hey, Preordain. Uh, this is good. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it dies to Merc Tide, but you know, sorry to Counterspell, but I can't do very much else. All right, GG. Good game. No, 
don't say that everything. Don't be like that. We had a very good game of Magic. Where we made some choices that was probably not ideal and then we lost. It's what happens when you play a game of Magic. If you go into mindset of they had everything when they... When we made like a, a 10 turn game, then it's like you don't enjoy any game. You only enjoy the one you win. And when you only enjoy the game you win, the hobby becomes bad. Because most of the time, you lose. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna keep this hand. No idea what the start is. Uh, I think it's gonna be preordained, just in case I find another preordained with it, and then I still don't have a second land, so I'm gonna do that. I mean, I only have to find a land, so bottom everything. If Fable is good against Mirror's Cam, I don't think it's good. You don't? I don't send your message. I mean, you have Fable main. It's a threat. Plus, like, all these lots are flex lots anyway. Like, you just... Your core is, like, probably 50 cards, and you have 10 to fill it up. Thoughtsies. Okay. When it doesn't know about this land here, sorry, this bolt here, so they may think that they can go land orc and kill my um, my channeler, but I have bolt. So if they go land orc, it's great. Because they don't know about the bolt, so they don't know I can get the Lyrium. Upland, okay. Yeah, Pika Poison is just in the sideboard, so it's gonna go a ton of rain falls here. Leave it on top. Not the best thing ever, but I may want to be art casting the subtlety and stuff like that. They know my counter spell, so let's see if they want to jam Coxa. <laughs> sure. I think I'll discard Lightning Bolt. Nah, I'll probably discard. This card lining bolt. And I think I'm gonna go second main, dress down. Oh wow, I'm dead after all. Okay, so one second, one second here, one second here. So I'll let this resolve. Croxa gets the ability of not dead after all. I play Dress Down, I remove the ability of Not Dead After All, and then the Croxa still dies, I believe, because it's on the stack. What do you guys think? How do the rule work here? Okay, so I let this Not Dead After All... I'm gonna take a screenshot, because it's, it's, cool, uh, it's a cool situation. But I believe that that's how it works. Okay, so we let them not, not after all. You still have to sacrifice the crux because the trigger is still there. Exactly. So, uh, this resolves. Now, this card got the ability. I play Dress Down to remove it. Draw a card. And then they sacrifice crux. Perfect. Yeah, we achieved a, a two for one here. Very good. Maybe even better, actually, than a two-for-one. Because I ended up drawing a card and then discarded one. So actually, it was a three-for-one. Hmm. 
Ja. Wollt ihr noch Bayern? Okay, opponent does nothing. I. Ooh, I think I just want to go channel or go. 3 3 for 1. Ragavan is also good. Maybe I should also go Ragavan here. Yeah, I think I'll also go Ragavan here. Only bad if they go like double orc. If they go simple removal spell, I think I'll let it resolve. Like push, I'll let it resolve. Terminate, I'll let it resolve. I don't want them to, you know, I counter that and then they go orc. I think it's much worse. Uh, they go Ragavan. I think I like. The, I think I counterspell this because Orc is now not uh, tremendous, not, not not like incredible bad. Okay, this time I'm not gonna bin the Preordain, like I did in the previous game. Attack here, even if I find Ragavan, I'm not dashing it. Then I go preordain, and I probably want to tap. So yeah, the third land was needed. I'm glad I I got it. I left the third land on top. It wasn't intuitive. Is the other wire needed to draw last game? They've got a fourth land, they can play hard cast their grief. I, I counter it, untap. Or, sorry, also crooks that I can, that can bring back, but whatever, I counter it. If they go grief, I actually need to keep up subtlety, I think, next turn. I can't play duration. Maybe I still can, because I can pitch subtlety on the crooks then. They evoke grief. Wow. That's impressive. Okay. So I guess they will resolve uh, the... the crooks after all. Yeah, that was a good play. Grief, pitch, what was it? Shieldra, jeez. It's the, yeah, but yeah, we have a very good card on top. It's iteration that we put there with our can drip. Ragaban. Eh, eh, Ragaban, maybe it's not the worst. Uh, what's the worst that can happen? I break completely? No, it's greater than this. I'm sure I can find better. I did. I did. Okay. And bottom exile. I'll play Anoli Heat. Upland attack go. Okay, they drew Fable. Not bad. I could draw Bolt, though. I don't draw Bolt. Okay. You get a 3. Now, you have a couple of draws, and then you die. You have a couple of draws, and then you die. You discarded a land. Okay, you die. Oof! This was not an easy game. Okay, I have to take a bathroom break. I'll come back for game two, though. Alright, so, I want Subtlety, Stern Scolding, Fable, Flim of Anor, Hers. Stone of Eric? It's kind of bad. I'd rather not bring it in. In this matchup, I used to side out Channeler and Spell Pierce. And that is six cards. Everything else seems decent, at least. So, yeah, let's submit what I have.
Buongiorno Binog. Lands and spells. Let's go. Leyland of the Void. Okay. We have uh, not brought in Pick a Poison. We may have, but I decided not to. I started our Channeler. I found Channeler to be uh, weak, especially against Leyland of the Void. Wife of Anwar. I don't know, it wasn't the list that came second, it is a mid-range card, so I brought it in in a mid-range matchup. Nice. My opponent discarded Stern Scolding, and we top deck, sorry, Spells Nair, and we top deck Stern Scolding. Meaning that, um... Yeah, nice. I haven't, I haven't done this in a while. A screenshot. To a to a stir scolding on a grief, especially after the thought sees me and didn't see it. That feels good. They say ouch, <laughs> ouch indeed. Now their hand is a scam effect and uh, another card. The main phase orcish bowmaster. I'll kill it immediately before they can draw the. Sorry, they, they can have mana up for the scum effect card that they have in hand for sure. I put it had a fantastic hand. Leyline and Grief Scammed. Ah, the Stotsis is annoying because my. My iteration was important there. Yeah, Merc Tide is no good. I'll play a top land. I may use this dress down too, but Yeah, I wish I had dress down up now. That's okay, I can do it next turn. It's okay, to remove the land on top of my deck, so it wasn't the, it wasn't the worst. A okay, fable, fable is great, but I, I wanna no, I think I'll wait on the fable. I wanna go dress down this turn. I wanna I wanna let them dash the ragavan and then I go dress down, remove a haste, draw a card. Uh, if I just go fable and they dash ragavan, it's annoying, I think. So now I main fa I, I uh, begin combat dress down and it removes haste. It still comes back at the end of the turn, but I think I think this was good. Table is really good. Let me like, discard Merc Tide, which is a dead card with that ley line in play. Now what do I do? See what I draw first. Okay, another one. Let's go preordain. I want to draw a removal spell. That would be my best. Okay, so it's twice that I bought him two lands, by the way. Hmm. I can just go. I don't know why, but I don't want to go fable. I feel like going fable here is not ideal. I just want to find a removal spell for Ragavan with this preordain. And I can play my own Ragavan too. I just keep on bottoming both here. Oh, nice. Okay, so I can go Ragavan now and pass. They have three cards and one is a Ragavan and I think another one is the Scam Effect. So I think what's gonna happen is when I put a Dash's Ragavan, I block with Ragavan, they play Scam Effect, they play Bolt. It's not gonna happen though because the opponent is not gonna do it. It seems like a bad play. But that is, if they dash Ragavan and attack, I'm gonna attempt to trade Ragavans rather than going and we hit on Ragavan. Oh, I don't think they will attack with the Orc token.
Exposing Fable to a top deck Totsies, that's true by not casting it. But I just felt like casting it was just too bad in the face of that Ragavan that I knew about. And I was just happy to draw into this instead. Okay, they drew Orkish Bowmaster, which is strong. Very strong, especially since my plan was to cast this Fable soon. Yeah. Okay, so I know my opponent has... Uh, and no, that I can't. I can't go easier. I can't. Let me try and yeah, exactly. I was going to say I have to try and dance a little bit around that treasure token for a uh, scam effect. I go fable. Yeah, I think I'll go fable. Fable pass. Then. I yeah, if it will pass. They have three cards, and I think I know two of them. They play Bolt. Yeah, do they dash Ragavan or do they keep up? Yeah, keep up uh, the not that after all card they have in hand. If they dash Ragavan, it's good. Okay, good. I can go, uh, well, I'll let you attack with it first. Then I go Shock on Ragavan, take three, down to nine. Then I draw for turn, ability from the stack, Bold the Orc, Discord Merc Tide, and let's see what happens. Yeah, the Fable is, I mean, very good here. It's gonna be a three for... It's not three for one, but like, they had to Bold the first side. It's gonna discard my dead card, and then I'm gonna... Uh, be a two-two that they have to Bold again. So it's gonna be like... a. Two and a little bit for one. It's crazy that turn seven, my opponent has that two lands the whole game and they've played like magic, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure they had not that after all. There's no chance you have old grief there if you don't have it. Maybe you don't have it, but anyway, let's bolt this orc and then get rid of both of these cards in my hand. Draw two. Yeah, okay, cat. So I have like five lands in the bottom as well. Yo cat. Alright, draw sorry, surveil bubble. Hey, no, I have to graveyard this. I can't leave it on top and then they go like rag of money. I don't know. I don't have anything. And they have three cards. <laughs> Wow, evoke grief. And they scam it. Okay. Yeah, that, that's winnable. This game is winnable. I just need to draw iteration. I have six cards on the bottom of my deck, so I've seen 30 cards here. Bravo, Mangu. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I said. I love Merc Type 4 because you dig so much. You just make your own luck. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do I want to go preordain or do I want to go iteration this turn? I think preordain because I may draw into another fable or flame of honor. So I go hand bottom exile. I don't want to shuffle first because the bottom medic is really bad. I eventually have to shuffle though. Ay mangwaya Ay 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 I'll read all the cards later. Uh, my problem with shuffling now is that the bottom of my deck is terrible. But I have to shuffle now, because if I go iteration in the dark and I find a removal spell. Yeah, I think I'll shuffle. I'm shuffling back all those bad cards, and then I go iteration. Uh, 
I got a four. Oh. I think I'm dead now. Maybe I should have just passed the turn. Yeah, I was hoping to draw a removal spell. I think I'm dead now. To say I forgot I had milled my island, so I thought I had um I thought I had uh, an island in my deck, so I thought it would be a six. I go to one, and I need to top deck again. Wow. Yeah. And at turn nine, and my opponent stayed at two lands for the whole match, and played magic very easily. Crazy. Turn nine, and they drew two lands. They drew, like, 55. <laughs> Vavine, Vavine, And I've been, like, bottom six lands, too. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Do I want this pick your poison? So it deals with Leyline and maybe with something else too. Hmm. Maybe one. Just one. I hate Brothers Who End. Brother Zudan is a trap. I always hated it in this matchup. If you like it, I'm happy for you, but I don't. It's a classic Merktide video where everyone suggests to bring in every card and nobody suggests anything to take out. The classic. Everything is good. I mean, it's a mid-range deck. Your whole cyber is is gonna be all right. I'll shock here because they may have a uh, turn one Ragaban. Go, block crypt. What's a war? Okay, we'll see. You suggest to take out a prayer, Dane. <laughs> okay. I will not follow your suggestion then. I think I'll go top and go. Unlikely that I need to. Um, I need more than one mana this turn. Okay, the reason why I hate mm, Brother Zudan in this matchup is that your opponent always knows your hand. They will eventually see your Brother Zudan. It's very hard to two for one with it. Sometimes you even have a creature and you can cast it. It costs three, which is not that little. And they don't have any artifacts. So it's just only like a, a anger of the gods of a type. Okay, let's see what I draw here. Man, do I want to play land here? I think I do. I don't know, I have brought in one uh, pick your poison to do with that. Mm, okay, so you're a counter. Question is how, I think it's spells near. It's called it can counter grief. Krotza. Krotza resolves. I discard shock. Draw. Not plant, not gray, but what can I do? Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Tomo Maso. Buongiorno. One year. Woo! Thank you, thank you. You have an Apple Spritz badge now. Table. Ah, annoying. Annoying. Va bene. We should play the Fable last turn. It would have been much better. On top deck mode, there's no better card than end. That's not, not true necessarily. Like if they have nothing and you draw end, it's terrible. Like it's a situational card that costs three mana. I mean, that's fine. You can have it. I give you the reasons why I don't like it. I don't. I don't bring it in. At the RC, I never, I did end up not playing it because I, again, dislike it in this matchup. But then I lost to skills and armor, and I wish I had it. So I think you should play it, but only for those matchups. Okay, I got thunder balls. I mean, if I drop pick your poison, up, that's annoying. But what can I do? Okay, this is good. This matchup is gonna take a while and. Kind of spell, I think, is better than a random draw. I think in this game I made a mistake, actually. I just realized that now I shouldn't have played hers. I should have passed. No rush to hers that Croxa. And my opponent resolved the Fable. So it was... I thought they had... Nah, it's fine. I thought they had Fable, but... I didn't have Fable because they didn't play on turn three, but I guess they play Crux instead. No field cross, I don't agree. I have two cards. Why do we flood so much? Man, I could have held that Otawara, but I wanted a third land. We're gonna hard cast Merc. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it happens. I hope they don't attack. Yeah. Bravo, don't attack. Sarà meglio. Draw. Something. Iteration. Take three and draw a card. I think that's actually a decent play. Yeah, I would also, I'd love to do that if I could. Take three and draw a card. I'll snap it off. All right, draw iteration. Oh, flame of honor. Huh. Doughty. Okay, let's do this. Let's draw two cards in response. Because if I find um, a shock, I don't need to count a Dothy. Scold, and that works also plays. Okay, Flame of Anor. Very nice. That's a divination with instant speed. So I could play my opponent's turn after drawing with Bubble. You pay three? What's this? Table? I'll counterspell it. Bone Crusher G. I think I'd have to counterspell it. I'm not gonna say it's a great card, but... I don't know. Plus, like, they have Thoughtsies and such, so keeping this counterspells in handy isn't amazing. Oh, look, do I wanna fetch Taplin first? Because it may be a little bit awkward if I find two good cards. Nah, it's okay, I'll pre Madonna mia, che bombe. Top. Top. 
Good thing I didn't shuffle. Iteration. And bottom exile. Top three. Play fable. Trigger. Crew. And bada boom. Go. At the RC, I played two fable sideboard, mostly for scam. At the RC, scam was very popular. I think they have terminating end, right? Yeah, I think they have terminating end. Should open it. Okay, I drew preordain. I'm just discarding Mr. Imp Mr. Enforced. I won't do the same mistake I did in the previous match. Ooh! Ragaban! A bon. Let's go preordain to begin. Bottom, top. That's a fourth counter spell, by the way. And this, honestly, another reason why you side out Channeler and you keep in Ragavan, because Ragavan cruise the hers. But yeah, Ragavan is just better than Channeler in this matchup. Always has been. Not always has been, but yeah, I mean, sometimes I was just wrong with siding out Ragavan. You keep it even on the draw. I knew about this count. I knew about this terminate. They go to one and then we win. All right. Yeah, we lost game two. I think just because they drew two lands and like 17 spells. But I don't know. The Leyland of the Void uh, is a bigger threat. Sorry, it's a smaller threat than people think. I don't even know if you're supposed to bring in any Picky Poison. And also just I want to share some light again. The Brothers Uden, if I drew at any point in this game, it would have been 3 mana kill Fable. And sure, I mean, it's fine, but I don't want to put it in my deck like that. Like, you have to create a scenario where it's good. For it to be good. Most of the time, it's just a 3 mana deal with something. Which, Sorcery Speed 2 in a deck with Counterspells and such. So it's like a turn 5 play or something like that. Alright, playing against Burn. Burn is not fantastic with this hand. If I play a creature that goes Searing Blaze, I think I lose, so... I just I just have to go Preordain if I find an answer to Spear, so spear I think. I found it. On the draw against Burn, I mean, it's a good matchup, but I can definitely see myself losing this one. Yes, yeah, Spurbuff Canal is fantastic against Burn. True. By the way, both of these lands are going to be reprinted soon, so I don't know how much they cost, but this one, I remember, was like 15 euros. It's probably of Canal. So it's definitely good news for modern players. I'll play only heat on this. Take two. And then I think I'll play this one instead of uh, another one because I want double red. GG Danny, good game. Am I queued for any showcase this weekend? No, I don't play these uh, magical line events, unfortunately. This weekend is actually the first weekend I'm ever at home since the 10th of January. Because of Easter. I need, I need removal spells. I don't find them. Yeah, this is gonna be... We're, we're gonna go down here. I'm going to go down here. I'll play a 3-3 and pass. Is it wise to play two-player queues to familiarize before a league? I believe uh, there are the friendly leagues. Yes, uh, Deltnix. You should play the friendly leagues. This one are cheap. And also, I think the prizes are extremely low, like... Sorry, extremely low, I mean, uh, even if you lose, you win something. They, they definitely make the friendly league for, uh, you know, people who are uh, new to the client, not necessarily for bad decks. I guess also for bad decks. 
maybe both, new to the client and with a bad deck. Anyway, let's go for a counter spell. I got down to seven. It's so little. It's so little. So, so, so little. Will the old fast land get cheaper once they get reprinted? You mean this? I mean, probably. Yeah, consider is not amazing. Removal spell. Icky cat, so. Oh, in Pioneer, they don't have it? Oh, because oh, you play Pioneer. Yeah, no, in Pioneer, they don't have it. They need, like, a lot of people. Only mo Modern is the most popular format. Uh, I can't do much. I think I'm just gonna dash for Agavan, see what happens, but I'll, I'll, I'll die, I'll, I'll die. Eidolon's very good if unchecked. Oh wow, they don't block? Maybe I find Lightning Elix? Searing, Searing Blaze would be nice? Nah, probably dead regardless. I'm just dead. Skew the critics. How bad? Uh, could it be worse? I'll get a three. I mean, if they have like land, land, land. It has a chance. Okay. I'm not sure if it, this was a better line than just passing and hoping. I guess I'll do this. My wild life, a one life against burn. What's the worst that can happen? A one life topped out against burn. Well, that's a that's a decent start. Them firing off the Sunbaker Canyon. <laughs> Man, imagine if I win this game. I gotta get so lucky. Nah, it's impossible. Whoa, no, no. I oh, Merc died. Merc died. Draw. Merc died. Ah, God, so close, 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 close. Va bene, va bene. Wait, close. What are we saying? It's not close at all. Like, it's just super dead. And anyway, burn. Uh, 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 my, my, my cyber looks pretty bad against burn. Not that my main deck looks amazing. I have like subtlety and, and and fable are both bad. Maybe it just turn scolding. Poison does something. I think I need answer to the um, sanctifier. I wonder what is it. What's the best answer to sanctifier? I don't like engineered explosives. I should bring an ingress down. What's kissing here is a cycle. I'll bubble you. I think my play here is a top land. Bolt, and I play land go, now I can counter the Sanctifier and Vec if they have it. They don't have it. I mean, they may have it, but I doubt. Nylon's called...
the suspend rift bolt. Next one I can go preordain merc. Pretty good. Probably do that. We should just use the Otawara. Although I guess I didn't want to shuffle uh, exile the um, bubble. I guess they could have like rift bolted the Merc and go searing blaze on the Merc. That would have been bad. Yeah. They should have just gone dashed Ragavan last turn and wait for a bigger Merc. Force Charm. Can't cast it, unfortunately. Okay. <sighs> I think I'll go Ragavan, take two pass. If they kill my Ragavan, I guess I'll accept. Okay. Searing Blaze. Oh. Man. I think I have to go bounce this so I don't have to lose my treasure and I save two life. I go to six. I think the mistake I made this game was I played a Merc Tide too early. Should have been bigger than a 6-6, six -six, especially since their Rift Bolt suspended. It's like the second time that I just lose to Eidolon. In this game, I bottomed a Anoli Heat. Yeah, I definitely made a lot of plays that made me lose this game. Definitely made a lot of plays that made me lose this game. I'm just dead here. I'm just dead here. I can't even play counters. Yeah, just die to Eidolon uh, with my deck with a lot of removal spells. Guess it is what it is. Wow, another Serum Blaze. Jeez, there's so many Serum Blazes. Oh, GG. Mango playing the deck, the loss to the budget of Malia combo. Well, to be honest, I wasn't piloting the deck that lost to the Amalia combo. So, I have that going for me. All right, let's see what happens here. Polluted Delta may mean a lot of things, one of them being Orcish Bowmaster. What's the life against a maybe Orcish Bowmaster gamer? I think it's just close my eyes and hope they don't have it. Spike 5 0 with Amalia deck yesterday. I don't play Spike deck. I pretend they're a different format, they're a different game. This is main deck turns golden. Wow, it is. Cool. I always say that, and then I don't. And then I end up playing a spike deck and go 1-4 every time. 
Actually, last time I didn't even finish the league. I went one to drop. So I just keep on doing that now. I think my life will be better if I just and they don't exist. Attack. Skill issue. Oh, for sure. For sure. And that's why. I never said the opposite. Okay, I think my opponent's playing blue eye control. Despite the weird uh, start. I think that's blue eye control. Brandon ticks. I think I'm gonna attack Renan Ticks. And then I'll bolt it. Oh wow. Well you can't play Leyland Binding. What do you have? In paper though, there was a snap Leyland Binding. But it was so convinced. You had to be very, very focused to guess the opposite. Now, opponent's playing blue eye control. I mean, with Ren. There are 12 live. The game hasn't even started. There are 12 live. And they weren't even on the play. Imagine if they weren't the draw. On the draw, a mana base like that on the draw is... Okay, so they have Leyline Binding, I know that. What do I want to do? I think I want to dash Ragavan. Play lane, dash Ragavan, pass. Or maybe just... No, dash Ragavan, pass, yeah. I don't need a... I guess I could have just played Ragavan. Target spell. Oh, man. Could this make a deck of the past? Here in the 2 2 bracket, deck of the past are welcomed. Oh, no, okay. Now they have an addition Meticulous Archive. Although leaves a land on top, so. Could have been a. Uh, Azorus Guildgate. DRC. I think I'm happy with a DRC. I'll attempt to play iteration first. Pronto. Pronto, pronto. Okay, I like what I see. I think I'm gonna go hand bottom exile. Play pass. Four cards. I'm gonna get breeding pool just to put my opponent in fear. Just to make them think I have it. I'm about to poison you, opponent. You should be worried. La solitudine? La solitudine. Ta -da -ta 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 -da -ta 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 -da. I think I'll go counter spell. I don't know, going subtlety makes me feel like they just put it on top, replay it, and I don't like it. Plus, I could have surveilled the earth, so. 
You love Legacy, just not a fan of Dual Lands. That is a common uh, opinion, I would say. But overall, the people who play Legacy usually are welcomed with proxy. So, And people... Or online, where Dual Lands cost nothing. Yeah, Teferi, Teferi is uh, annoying. But I definitely don't want to go subtlety pitch. Let's say the opposite. I love Dual Lands, but I'm not a big fan of Legacy. You'll never expect that. I love Dual Lands. The beauty of all the little square. It's the dual ends are so beautiful. I wish they would do it again instead of this childish split in the middle. The split in the middle is just I don't know, you're just showing a card to a child and on the right side is red and the, on the left side is blue. Back in the days they had a little you know? So good. I showed them to you if you didn't. If you've never seen them before. Like, like look at this. This is how a dual lens shows its colors. When a magical lens, whatever, I'm too lazy to pick up the real ones. But you see? Beautiful. Oh, okay. Channeler resolved. Hmm. Bubble. Entry bubble. Oh, you steal this? Oh. All right, time to play Murky Boy. Oh, Murky Boy, how big? Four four. Let's see, die. Okay, look at them, look at them surveilling the land in the graveyard. So busted, busted, busted. Oh, spell pierce, hmm, bona. This is where I miss my beloved Ledger Shredder, the discard spell pierce late game. Mmm, counter spell. Oh, murky boy. How big? Uh, four four again. And then a good old subtlety. The best subtlety ever. Main phase one subtlety. Empty stack. Go. <laughs> Could a subtlety my? Ah, oh, couldn't. For mana 3-3 three, three flyer, decent. Decently rated card. Speaking of beautiful cards, I have here ready the deck I'm gonna record with with Tommy soon. It's the it's the pre-modern the pre-modern black and white deck with Vindicate and uh, it has Dark Ritual. It has. Hypnotic Spectre and Source to Plowshares. I look forward to this video. The first pre-modern video did very, very well. 
So I look forward to hosted another one here. Okay. Bottom top, attack the fairy. If you kill it, I concede. Yeah, awesome cards. I basically just started the Mangus Workshop channel to, <laughs> to be able to show my cards to the world. Counter spell, we have spells near. Okay, you surveil first. I wonder why my opponent doesn't have a uh, Kahira. What do you think they play that doesn't play Kahira? Maybe they're one of those like, oh no, the 15 cyber slots are more important than a companion. Could be. You guys remember when these people were among us? When the 15 cyber slots is more important than Lurus in Burn topic was something that people used to say. And I'm not even saying like bad players, I'm talking about people who top hated multiple challenges with burn without lures in the sideboard. Crazy. Crazy to think about that today. Or they forgot to reveal. Actually, it must be more likely. Yeah, that's true. Okay, hear me out. What if I just main phase two dress down? Yeah, I mean, this card is just empty in this matchup anyway, and I have to cast it eventually, so I might as well just cast a second main, draw a card. Could be a preordain or iteration, I cast it now. I pull and forth, Sadio Caro. Die, yeah, die. Okay, go. End of turn, they're doing something. What is it? Tizana? Okay. Wait, you could have stifled my... Oh, no, you couldn't. Oh, that's funny now. They couldn't stifle my dress down. Oh, this is why they don't play Kahira, because they have Tizana. Ma pensate. Tiziana. When this card came out... It made waves. Everybody played it. Now it's so rare to see it. When you get to Tizana, you're like surprised. You're like, wow, you played that card? Cool, I didn't expect that. Yeah, like everybody played it. It was everywhere. It was like 50 ticks. How much is it now, actually? I'm curious. It's like nobody plays it anymore. Magical line price go down if you don't play it. 20? Okay, uh, right in six. Forte. Forte. No bad. Why did it get played less? I think it was about, all about... It was all about uh, Rhinos. It's Steph was the Cascade. You can play it in Rhinos, you know? It's either nice. If I find Ragavan, I win the game. If I find an Oli Heat... Actually, I don't want it. I don't care about Tiziana. Sorry, Brandon Six, I meant to say. Iteration. Hand. Bottom. Exile. Play Preordain. Bottom. Bottom. Oh, there's another E3 wanted to come up, eh? Sabine. Double Raga Ban. Dasheroni. I win. I would say opponent deck did not look strong. Let's hope it stays not strong even in the next game. <laughs> Do I want to bring in Blood Moon? Nah. I think this is just only for uh, Amulet Titan.
Wagner looked worse than having a Kahira. Basically, you can play a 3-2 for 6 mana for free every game, or a 3-2 for 3 mana that you have to draw, and that it gives up a draw step. Yeah, I would say I would have a Kahira. Kahira. If they use the charm properly, you don't say to an Archmage Charm Gamer that they don't have to steal a one drop. If you put Archmage Charm in your deck, all you want to do is steal your opponent's one drop. I submit the 61 cards by mistake. I apologize to the good magic player that are watching. To the bad ones, I don't apologize. Actually, here I can die to. Nah, I'll keep spells in the air. Yeah, I'll keep both. Submitting 61 should give a warning. If there's some judges watching, you should give a warning. It's like if you have a surgical extraction in your deck, post sub or you're not playing against um, Gore's Vengeance, it's the same. It's the same type of warning. Is Timor the better combination at the moment? In Magic? Could be. Timor is pretty good. Love Timor. Very fun. Plus, if you play Timor and Merktide, you can call your deck T Merktide. Which is definitely. It's like Scaminator in Legacy. It's such a great and glorious name. That you should be a part of it. It's like a celebration. Do you think my opponent plays the legendary combo Rest in Peace of Renan 6? I think it would fit their deck and their style. Do modern players still do the thing where they play 70 cards? Nah, that, that only happened after Yorian got banned for like a few, few months. But now. Now they stop. Uh, 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 I feel like I need to draw and play iteration because I ran out of lands, unfortunately. Hope they countered this. I won't. I guess that's not true. I'll fight. Nah, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. Hmm. I think I have to play the speak your poison despite. It's not something I'm proud of. Just because otherwise I have to go to discard. And going to discard is worse than using a removal spell on a bad card. Spearman's a dead band now. Season Pyro? Season Pyro, I mean, it's not that it's bad, it's just that the other cards are better. It's just the classic magic, you know, a card is great, it's worth 35 euros, and then a few months pass, they make better cards, so you don't play that card anymore. Uh, Alora. So again, it's not that I want to protect the Pick Your Poison, it's just that if I don't play Spells Nair now, I go to discard again next turn. But they can resolve the Fairy, but well, not if you get some Fairy. Yeah, I'll just... Do this You can call it the the Grizzle Brand effect, where they print Grizzle Brand, and people go like, "This is the best creature has ever happened." It's impossible that they'll ever print a better card, and then they make you know a next card, and it's better than Grizzle Brand, and you know Atraxa, and then Red Metro will play that, and then in a few months. They'll make it, sorry, a few, I mean, it could be months, yeah. They'll make a better one, and, you know, the, the, it will go on. And it's kind of the nature of a game like this, huh? Okay, I like the Ragavan. Uh, I think I want to go... I want to go. Where do I want to go? 
and autumn exile land fable i hope you don't have spell peers that'd be bad if you have spell peers not have spell peers not have spell peers not have spell peers not have spell peers uh, I think I'm just casting Ragavan. I don't want to believe the opponent has Ren and 6 rest in peace in their deck. If they do that, they will I have outplayed me. They have six lands and only sorry, they have seven lands and only two of them can cast Ren and Six. Lauren's revealed back to back. Lauren's revealed for them, their hand is full. Hand is full. I think I did the classic Merktide League where I lost. I'm gonna say that I win this game, although I may not, but I'm gonna say I win this game. And if I do, I would have lost two games, two matches, and both of them looked extremely winnable. Extremely winnable. Which is always the reason why Merktide has a 45 win percentage of every tournament. And some people still get 2nd and ninth, Because most of your games are winnable. So very few of them, very few people manage to do win them. With win them. Okay, cats will study. Few people manage to win with them. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Anyway, uh, I think I'll... Yeah, the channel art looks bad. Play this on tap. Play the fable and pass to you. They can pro they probably have Supreme Verdict, so I don't wanna keep up double counter spell. Keep only one up for uh Teferi. Your experience Yogamoth with Cauldron since unbeatable. Yeah. I mean I remember when I don't know. I don't think Merc that has any matchup that it's unwinnable and has any matchup that is a buy. Even Burn used to be good, but I, I lost to Burn. To zero. But maybe I didn't play my threats at a proper time or use my cantrip in the wrong order. Have I played any amulet? Lately, what do you mean by lately? Like last days? No, but there was a time last month where I tested a lot of amulet, made a lot of content, I made several videos and also an article on Channel Fireball with a cyber guide. So if you're interested, check it out. It's all online on YouTube or on Channel Fireball. So Google is your friend to find all my amulet content. Okay, Teferi has been countered, which is a success, as if they have another one. Just double checking, what is my opponent avatar? Is it Bilbo Baggings or Pippo? Pippo something. No, Pippin or Pippo. What is it called? Pippo? Pippon? I think it's Bilbo. I remember because it's the 1 3 green. Frodo, oh cazzo, never mind, it's Frodo. It is the 1-3 green though, that when every plane is start permanent you get a... A clue? No. Oh, I don't remember anything. I never draft a white green in that set. Pipino, in Italian. <gasps> cool! Pipino. That's funny. Buongiorno, Emanuele. Okay, my opponent made a pretty underwhelming turn. I guess they're setting up for a Supreme Verdict. Every deluge rest in Pepega. Rest in Pepega. 
I'm discarding this channeler. Keep it the rest. Actually, I'll discard also Noli. It seems pretty bad here. Draw Murktide. Murktide. Okay, let's play Preordain. It's kind of sad that um, my Flame of Honor can't do double. Fuck heaven, Chomp Castle. I don't have a thing. This Mr. Forest has run out of targets. I think I just draw two main phase. I may need to pick your poison if you have if I find it. So I need graveyard dear to deploy some threats. Oh yeah, whenever whenever something happened, you you dungeon. You've entered the dungeon. No, what was it called? The ring tempts you. Okay, now I will play uh, b b Bobble and target myself. Yeah, target myself. I know that this Mr. Force doesn't find anything, but okay, now Ragaman is good. Alright, well, let's go land, F6. You got a 10. I have a lot of mana, a lot of treasure. Not much to do with it. We have an Atraxa. Yeah, some people like PPK Poison main deck, but I net deck the list that came second in a 600 people event. Two days of competition. They went like, what was it? 15 and 4. Two days. It's pretty good. Supreme Verdict. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, definitely don't go end of turn, subtlety. Top and draw, flip fable, a colony, pick your poison. Do I cast it? Sure, I will. Sacrifice an enchantment. Opponent loves the recipe, so they're gonna defend it. They're gonna defend it, I feel like. Any thoughts on your new spoilers? If you stay tuned on my stream, I'll be doing a... Read of the new set. Not a review, let's just say a read. I'll reread read the cards. to comprehend them. I may give up after the third mythic rare that it's too long to read, but I will definitely read the uncommon that are decently shorted. Because I've seen a few cards and they all seem very interesting, very strong. And recently Spike said in the podcast episode with Humans of Magic that Watsi is very good at making new cards that are extremely, extremely cool that you want to buy and play with, and then they don't play too well. And that's, and that's something that I feel like. Dai, Frodo! Forza! Play your... Ooh, you evoke a solitude here, huh? Hmm. Why? But, but anyway, he resolves. How much donation is needed to make me read all the cards? Thankfully, I never do any donation-based uh, work. I try to keep on doing what I like, based on uh, what I like. Never really done any you pay me, I do type of things. I guess with sponsor stream, I do, but that's a lot of money. I'll keep on doing the sponsor stream. They are indeed a lot of money when they happen. Uh, Vidakin Shackles. This is Bona. This is very, very Bona. I have to play Counterspell, and then you'll play a Counterspell back, and I'll probably lose the game. What on your subtlety there? Uh, my problem with subtlety is that I just put it on top, the Solitude. <laughs> and, and nada. 
Yeah, the Dark and Shark Holds. I'll probably lose to the Dark and Shark Holds. Yeah, you stole my Kiki Jiki. How about I go subtle at the end of turn? Does that seem reasonable? No, it doesn't. Spell. Boss the Terra! Go. Oh, but Akashakas is good. It's good card. Actually, yesterday, uh, when I cubed with my friends, and Vidaka Shackles was an old time. It's a definitely one of the card of all time. Still remember the deck that uh, John Finkel brought at Worlds in 2011 with Vidaka Shackles Restoration Angel, stealing creature and blinking them. And back in the days, I don't know if it's still the rule, but like if you steal a creature and then you blink it, it remains yours. And I remember watching the, the coverage on my phone and I remember being, maybe it was on my phone. I don't think my phone went to the internet at the time. Anyway, I remember watching the coverage and when you make that play, I was like, I was like, I don't know, John Finko. I think that was cool. I wish, I wish he comes back to the game. I'd love to watch it. It's still the rule with Resto Angel. Oh, okay, not with Ephemerate. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, let's hope this one resolves. It may not. Inchi. Not only resolved, they got three very good cards here. Um do I I think I keep on believing in subtlety. I keep on believing in subtlety. I'm gonna find pick your poison with the sprayer dane. I could have I could have drawn it or just just I want unholy heat. I do want course of negation. Pass. At the end, like, they just have a 2-2, two -two. it's not the end of the world, they can just draw, uh, I don't know, something. I guess I ran out of iteration. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I needed that, the RC. Resting Pepegas. How many Merc Tides I have? I have one Merc Tide left. I don't want to counter that. Okay, how about I go subtlety block? Now that sounds bad. How about I go subtlety end of turn? Yeah, that sounds that sounds okay. Maybe I should have gotten a channeler. Nah, channeler would have been bad against rest in peace. What's this? Okay. Attack you for six, down to four. I set it out all the lining bolts. You left the card on top, of course. And you have Fable. That's a problem. I need to draw something now. Madonna, che culo. I can cast subtlety too. Sorry, solitude. Uh, do I want to solitude? Yes, sure, but I don't kill your fable. I just uh, choose nothing. 
go. Because if I kill your Fable, you just untap the Vedak and Shagas and steal something else. I guess this is really bad against Solitude. But how many Solitudes do you have left? Two. Yeah, you can have Solitude. So it's, oh wow, they untap the Kiki. They untap the Shackles, okay. Unfortunately, I can't uh, use this. When is a two life? If I counter, uh, quella no. Va bene. Ta -da -ta, ta -da -da. I'll bubble myself, I can shuffle my deck. I'll go Ragavan, they steal it, I burn their clock, I pass. This one comes back in end. I'm gonna say it comes back in end. Maybe the rules say it doesn't. We'll see. What do you think the rules say here, chat? We'll see. Magical Knight will tell us. What's left in my deck? Three and only hit three channeler, two counter spell, pick your poison, another Ragavan. Okay. Pick your poison is my best draw. We'll see what MTGO thinks. Where do you go, Ragabad? Back to me. Yeah, it's a delay trigger and everything, but do you think they coded the interaction between Shackles and Ragabad? Unclear. Actually, I don't know how coding works. I know nothing. It just said a word. Undoy Heat. Could have been Lightning Bolt. It's game two. Ragabandash. Attack. Leland binding. I think I counter. I don't know. Mm -hmm. More clicks. And then I go DRC. It's a 1-1. One, one. Raga comes back. I was supposed to play this. Because now I can just steal it. I can't attack with Ragavan anymore. Yeah, maybe it was bad. Okay, this opens the possibility for me to win the game. Hey, va bene. That's fine. Let's draw now. Pick your poison. No. I know it in response to surveil trigger, but then I think it's bad because then they just untap the shackles again. I didn't. I didn't expect them to play a second one. You know. <laughs> that definitely give me the out to to win. I think. Ren and Tick, so you do have the combo, rest in peace Ren and Six. Man, what a gamer. Kinda wanna take a screenshot, cause these three cards next to each other are so rare to see that it deserves a screenshot. Like, how many people have done it in the game of Magic? It must be like under 10, you know, despite billions of games played. Who could ever Think of putting these three cards in the same deck. It's really, really strange cards to put in the same deck.
you know when they say like commander does everything but no nah, this this three not even commander does i think allora let's bottom both of these and draw pick your poison mai mai dio caro va bene va bene 15 15 card okay uh i keep an only heat because this brand six doesn't do much and I need an only heat actually, right? Yeah. Because I have to go pick your poison, they suck this. An only heat to your attack. You're sad to use the MM Shaka's art. So it's not the original one, I get you, but it's not a bad art. You know? Like, as much as I'm a reprint hater, this is not a bad art. Allora, attenzione. Okay, I'll play this because once again it opens the possibility for me to win the game. Ah, they just ping it with Vren. Yeah, it wasn't ideal. I guess I can just go annually hit on Vren. Yeah, I should have main phased it. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I have a bit had to do this now. Okay, surveil. Perfect. It's like I drew a card. I'm actually going down in timer. I should play faster. I'm gonna F6. Fuck oh, boy, I lost. Okay, I have to win the game on time now, so I'll have to play very fast. Yeah, now, now it's over. I don't think I have outs. My deck is just over. I know my deck I have two counter spell. I have three channelers, something like that. Maybe two channelers left. I have one Picket Poison, which was the card I'm digging for. I have Mishra's Bubble. I'll target myself. I have a Noli Heat, okay, I guess. I'm not gonna play this Ragavan. I'll just have six. Should have bolted, but I guess I clicked one too many time. Maybe they attack with both here. Okay, they do. Okay. Let's see. Ah, they have counter. I'm dead. Ay ay ay. Okay, GG. All right. GG. I'll take a bathroom break. I have one minute advantage. I'll be right back. This league is going long, but you know, classic, classic Merc type league. I'll be right back. Okay. Brothers Udan kills the Shackles. Shackles is annoying. Got another Merc tied for Brothers Wood. Oh no, I'm a 61. No, 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 no. I'm a 61 again. Okay. Yeah, Shackles won the game for sure. All right, Land Ragavan. No, this could have been any card. It's my 61st. No, why? For your name. Do I like Flame of Honor? Yeah, it's another answer to Shackles. I don't want to let you Shackles this game. I'll go for a TRC pass. Now, if they go Brennan 6, I'll play Consider in response. And uh, if I don't find Delirium, then I will. Uh, Oh, is that ending? Okay, that's what works. That's good. That's good. Dash. F6. Could have subtlety'd. 
I have six though. Remember, now we're playing very fast and lose because of the timer. It's gonna be mostly the way the game's gonna end. Brennan ticks. It's okay, I'll let you have it. Takes a lot of clock. You have to plus one and then fetch. And then surveil. Clear him. Eight, I passed. Draw. Let me pass back. What's happening? Charm? Okay. One minute advantage. Yeah, we will check all the new cards after the screen. After the after this game. So if you say two and four, five or six minutes. This video will end and then we read the cards. Draw two. Me. Untap. Draw bubble. Bubble you. Okay. Play preordain. Bottom. Bottom. Pick a poison. Okay. Which art of your favorite carbonistics you like the most? <laughs> I'll go to this card. I would say I'm definitely losing this game, but I think I just took lines that I wouldn't have taken if it wasn't uh, about the clock. Like with the subtlety that solitude. But I just have sixed. I'll definitely say I will. If this this we had both the ten minutes more on our clock, it would have been a different game. But it ends the uh, sorry emblems the brand six. Okay. Then they try to steal my ragavan. They want to force some negation. This. It's good against Rich Race. And then I spells near this. And then I can settle the, the Brandon 6. Okay. So you have stole my Ragavan. I want to dash one. You take it. Pass. There is a world where I lose this game if they steal like a creature. If they steal a Merc died or whatever. Let's see. Because I have the emblem, uh, Brennan's Six Emblem in play. Ragavan Bricks. Play Leyland Binding. Actually, I'll let it resolve. I can go pick your poison afterwards. Welcome, Alberto! Welcome, welcome with the raid. 
We're in a very tense game here. Probably losing against blue white control. Dash, but this is a new object. It's not going to go back to my hand. I think if they try to steal it, I'm going to counter it. I hope they don't find any creature because I mean there's a world where I lose to that Ragavan seven times in 56 seconds okay and only heat we should find it they have three cards in end what do they do oh Lauren's revealed okay more clicks We'll go subtlety. Yeah, I'm feeling all right. You never know if they flip like a Merc die now I lose. Flip a bubble, okay. Why did you play the fairy? <laughs> All right, don't play, don't play, don't flip Merc died, don't flip Merc died. Preordain, okay. Twelve seconds for them. Okay. Now actually, I'll, uh, I think I'll, I'll leave Ragavan back. So they have to count it for sure. Okay, they have seconds, seven seconds. Okay, that's a lot of clicks. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy three, two! Woo! Happy three, two! Woo! All right, it's every week, live Friday, recorded on YouTube on month on Sunday. I deliver you at three two, which, as always, could have been a five zero or a one four. You know, that's the that's the end. That's the how do you say evergreen Merc tight range of uh. If you play poorly, you go 1 4. If you play glare, you go 5 0. If you play medium and draw medium, and your opponent times out, you go 3 2. So, yeah, it's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed as always. I think it was a fun time. And uh, again, if you watch on YouTube, remember to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Bye bye.